joins us this morning, of course, former FTC Commissioner Mozell. It's great to have you back. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Glad to be here. It's been sort of this simmering pot of regulatory threat when it comes to Facebook. I wonder, uh, do you think next week makes that picture change at all or maybe down the road? Well, one of the things that's interesting here is the state AGs customarily work together with the federal regulatory agency, whether it's the FTC or DOJ, in order to avoid duplication of work. And um, so one of the questions becomes, why now? Uh, you only have, what, 49 days before the change of administration. And um, I'm sure whoever the new FTC chairman is will have his own or her own perspective on on this issue and other issues regarding technology. So um, it's a little bit unusual to do something this late into a term when you see there's going to be a change. Uh, that being said, uh, uh, I, I don't know what motivates the states to act now either. So I guess we just have to wait and see. Right. I mean, there is this sense that, uh, to some degree, the administration wants to get its licks in while they can, but others would respond by saying, well, it's not clear that a Biden administration would be any more tolerant of Facebook's practices, right? Well, yeah, but they have, they're going to have to take a fresh look at, at everything dealing with the technology space. And the FTC has been, is an independent agency. It has seven commissioners to serve as five commissioners to serve a seven-year term, and they're staggered. But the chairmanship changes, including the administration uh, uh, of the agency. So I would think that they would want to have their own stamp on it. And it's also a little bit uh, unusual for an agency to take an action now. This is going to be a longer-term issue in terms of time and resources. It's going to be a pretty high-profile case. So to lock in your, your uh, successor into that, and including the uh, time and energy, uh, that's, uh, uh, I would think that uh, the FTC would want to be considerate of that as well. Certainly uh, interesting timing here, Moselle, but I'm wondering what you think the particular concern is going to be in both the attorneys general case, case and also the FTC case. What do you think they're going to take issue with and what do you think potential remedies could be? Well, um, people have talked about uh, one of the challenges here is defining what consumer harm is going to be, uh, especially when you have an instance where you have um, a service that is essentially free to consumers. The other issue is going to be uh, how do you define what the market is? And um, so is it going to be online advertising? Is that the market? In which case, there are competitors out there, like another one who's been sued by the Department of Justice. So, and new entrants all the time. The other question uh, that's going to, that you raise about remedies, I know that there are a lot of people who have been talking about breakup. And uh, I think that's putting the cart before the horse a little bit, in the sense that um, the mere, you were just getting done with the conversation with Microsoft about m a strategy and possibly acquiring other companies that might complement you. And if that's the, uh, that's a, if people are talking about breakup, then you have to go back to look at, if people are looking for some sort of divestiture, that's going to be a very, um, a very harsh remedy. And so you'd have to show that, that there is a reason that, uh, that, that, that the mere presence of the companies together is, is going to be anti-competitive, and moreover, that yeah. anti-competitive to begin with. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.